Hey guys, Aaron here, making a uh, another video for you. Drinking some coffee. Um, this is an EDC update. My EDC has changed um, over the past few weeks, and I've gotten kind of some cool stuff in. So I figured now would be a good time to sort of show you what's changed and what's new, and uh, um, yeah, just let you guys see what I'm carrying. So first things to start off with, my iPhone, iPhone five. Hasn't changed in a while. I love it. Great iPhone. Put that up there. Um, next up, my keys. Just truck keys. I have a Birch Tree Blade Works Steel Flame dog tag on here. And then um, this is a Les George Mokutai carabiner. So pretty simple. House key, truck key, and steel flame tag. Nothing else too special there. Um, after that is probably my wallet. This is a simple, uh, like card sleeve wallet. So your cards fit down in there. This is by Richard Eepting. Um, and I can put his link in the description if you would like. And this has, uh, two things. First of all, it's crocodile skin and full grain leather. And on the back, you have a little Damascus, um, wallet razor here that's made by Richard. And then um, next to that, you have a anodized blue titanium toothpick, which is coming very useful. Um, so pretty cool wallet, neat little piece of EDC gear. The blade, frankly, is not that practical. It's more of just a novelty, but it's still pretty cool. Um, after that is my wristwatch. This is the Omega, I think it's 223450 uh, Seamaster GMT. So it's a, it has a... Um, you can see the red hand, which is actually underneath the minute hand right now, is the 24-hour clock. So it is like 1,300 and some odd hours, 1,300, and, 1300 hours, 35 minutes. And uh, um, the bezel turns. So, for example, if you were in, if I was in New York, so it was an hour ahead, I could turn this bezel one hour according to the noon up here and that would give me the 24 hour clock corresponding to one hour ahead while the main face is still my local time here in Nashville I think that's pretty neat or if my wife was traveling I could set this to whatever time zone she's traveling in it's a pretty cool watch it's the automatic movement steel bracelet not much to say it's an Omega I mean what are you gonna say about it James Bond wa James Bond's watch Next up, a little multi-tool. I got this in a trade with my buddy. This is the uh, Victorinox Midnight Rambler. Pretty cool little tool. It's got, um, what else does it have in here? It's got a fill little Phillips head screwdriver, cap lifter, a couple of blades. Um, there are a pair of scissors. On this side of it, you've got a cuticle pusher, which I think is really weird to put on a multi-tool, but it's the Swiss, right? Uh, another blade. Another blade. So, all kinds of stuff. The file, which I've actually found out, this is just carbonization on there, which is kind of neat. And that's hanging on a Monroe dangler. Oops, and I dropped it. Oh, and two other cool things about this that I almost forgot. It has an ink pen. And what's really neat as you can write with it like that, like you would a full pen, kind of cool. And then if you push down on the Victorinox here, it's got a little red light. So that's neat, neat for a little multi-tool. Next up, the knives. I mean, to be honest with you, I have a bunch of knives. They rotate all the time. This is what I had on me today. This is the Koi Whiskey 2 Frame Lock Flipper, S35VN, really big knife. Um, but it could just as well have been my stout uh, slimline harpoon blade CPM 154 or to be perfectly honest with you it could have been my um, Gidritis slip joint I carry them all I rotate them in and out and it you know it just kind of depends on what I'm doing and what I decide I want to carry throughout the day and that's what um, ultimately makes the determination of what I'm going to carry. Sorry, my phone is kind of blowing up here, so I'm just going to pick it up off the table. Um, lastly, uh, I'm going to show you the firearm that I carry. 
And I'm going to preface this by saying that I honestly do not carry this firearm everywhere I go. I carry it a lot of the time or I'll have it in the car. But I just, for my personal lifestyle and what I do, I don't, I don't carry it everywhere. I know some guys are vehemently against that, and that's fine. But this is my Springfield XDS. 45 caliber, carrying, um, these are, uh, I don't even really know what these are, 230 grain uh, XTPs, I think. And I carry this appendix with this um, little like skeleton uh, trigger, trigger guard sheath, I guess. It's not even really a holster. But I just tuck it in appendix, my belt goes through here, and if I need to draw, you just draw, and it comes free, and you're good to go. This is locked and loaded, so I'm not going to fuss with it too much. Um, so, there's that. And, uh, yeah, guys, that's kind of, that's my EDC. That's what I carry on me everywhere I go, every day, or slight variations thereof. Like, if I'm going to be going out somewhere nice, I'm more likely to carry this knife than this knife. But... I just figured you guys would want to take a look. I'm going to try and do more frequent EDC updates because I get new stuff in and out all the time and sometimes I forget to even do a video about it. So like I, I almost forgot to do this today. So that's it. I hope you guys like it. I'm looking forward to your comments. Aaron out of here.